The birds are really uh, going crazy out here. Can you hear them? My gosh. Can't hide that ponytail. All right, well, I don't think these birds are gonna stop anytime soon, so let's just do this. transform my shed from a shed to a shed toe. I partner with Sherwin Williams on this and I hope you guys like it as much as I do because I am downright obsessed. I am excited about redoing this shed because I feel like it has so much potential and I just want to see it white and like clean looking. I think with some little shades on the window, some shelves, some curtains, some strategic placement with the washer and dryer to make them one level. I just see a lot of potential and a lot of wasted space in here that this could be both my storage and kind of like a creative space. First things first, I need to empty this space out. Mister, mister, don't treat me so unkind. Mr. Mr. Oh, I'd be so inclined to shut you out and cut you loose without any regrets. To shut you out and cut you loose, I'm hedging my bed. So, oh, 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 won't you come on, give me more? We are officially empty. Through the day and through the night, we, 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 won't you come on, hold me tight. I'm going to like spot prime it where it's naughty and I'm doing that with this white pigmented shellac primer. So that one first and then I'm gonna like prime the whole thing with multi-purpose latex primer. And that'll go all over and then I will paint interior paint. It is primed in here. There's a few kind of brown spots, but it's mostly primed and I'm ready to put on the paint. So it's super white now, but almost like in a bluish way because it's primer. But I'm doing a satin because I'm gonna have stuff in here and moving around so I can kind of clean it off a little bit better. And it's in alabaster, which is a warm white. This is what we're about to do and I'm excited and hope it looks good. So let's do it. Oh my god, you guys, I love it so much. Like, I love it so much. I don't even know if I want it to be storage. I don't even really want to put shelves up and block that back wall. I need a day bed. But you know what? This is phase one, and the paint has been a game changer. It's been kind of a long process of painting, but all I can say now is 100% worth it. The floors, it's just the subfloor. Just went for it. I painted it with a floor enamel paint. Um, and I did it in alabaster, so it's all the same. And I love the way it looks. Also, I wanted to do something, so I have another color, butternut, that I wanted to do checkerboard floor kind of painted on. Thinking about maybe doing stripes. Plus, this is a long, narrow room, 
stripes this way, we'll just kind of widen it to the eye. So we'll see, but this process has been like very long of painting and I am just dying to get in here and decorate and get it going, it looks so good. And this is also what I was talking about with white and wanting a little bit of pigment in your white. Tell me this doesn't read as, you guessed it, white. Tell me it doesn't, but it is warm. It is warm. Alabaster is my favorite warm white right now. I mean, I think it is my go-to. And I don't know when I discovered it, and I don't know if it was before or after, and maybe that's why, but Nate and Jeremiah's house, the one in LA, I'll paint it alabaster. So if it's good enough for Nate and Jeremiah, it might just be good enough for me too. way to completely transform a space basically instantly. transformation of this entire space was the paint. From painting the entire thing completely, two sets of primer plus a couple layers of paint and then doing the floor, that's really kind of what did everything. All my other stuff that I added, I mean a couple new pieces but almost everything else is stuff I already had that just looked perfect in there once it was painted. And I have to tell you, if I do say so myself and pat myself on the back, I think the color on the floor, butternut, I really think it's the perfect color I could have ever chosen. So let me just tell you, it doesn't always happen like this, but everything turned out like a dream. Now we drink champagne when we're thirsty. That's how I feel, guys. So what do you guys think of my shed toe? Do you love it as much as I do? It's pretty cute, right? I know. Thank you to Sherwin-Williams for partnering with me on this. My dream partner always. I love your paint and I love Alabaster and I love how this project turned out. So thank you and thank you for watching and let me know if you have any projects going on too in the comments below and I'll see you next time.